In the fall, I teach two, uh, two sections of an uh, undergraduate chemical engineering course. Uh, so about half the time, I would say, in the fall is, is for undergrad pedagogy. And then the rest is devoted to designing proteins for function and, and designing them in a couple different ways. And, and our projects in our lab are geared towards two main application areas. On the one, we're looking at converting biomass to next generation fuels and chemicals. The other aspect of my lab that we're, we're working on is next generation proteins for diagnostics as well as therapeutics uh, in, a, in a wide range of treatment areas. Uh, so right now we have a project where we're looking at a novel breast cancer target and we're going to design proteins that can bind to inhibit uh, that target and uh, in, in hopefully in breast cancer models. The Office of Vice President has access to some, some very, very advanced facilities, uh, including um, next generation DNA sequencer that are absolutely essential to my work. Um, and, and so that, 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 was, that was very important for me to come here. The other thing that was really important and um, is really exciting for this campus is there's something called um, MBI, Michigan Biotechnology Institute, uh, which is just housed a little south uh, of campus here. Uh, and what they do is they can um, de-risk your ideas um, uh, for bio, in the bio-based economy. So if you have a product uh, that you want to make, they can actually look at it and evaluate the commercial potential for it. And, and can actually de-risk it and, uh, and scale up your process, which is really exciting uh, coming from, we, we do science in my lab, but we are also engineers, and we'd like to uh, actually apply what we, deserve, what we learn in the lab to the real world. And, and the ability to have that on campus is, is pretty much unique uh, across the institutions in the United States. So I, I recently won uh, an NSF Career Award for uh, a project called Programming Proteins by Deep Sequencing and Design. And so we're taking the ideas that, that I've just talked about, where we can use computational design and deep sequencing hundreds and thousands of different protein variants to rapidly optimize um, them for function. And it, it's a great honor, and it's, uh, it's very exciting to, to win early in the career. Uh, so I'm young, I've been here about three semesters, uh, and it's, uh, it, it's nice to, to, to have won this and, and kind, of, uh, kind of rest a little easier at night.